All right, bonus coverage. This is the mixed finals between Moon Tower and Bear. The score is 9-9, is what I've been told by multiple people. So we're gonna go with that. Meeks with a top-notch stop on the roll. That's gonna make a big difference at this point. I don't know how you're supposed to stop the around on that guy. It's gonna take like three people to stop the around on him. That's cops, that's cops. Success. Call him back at it. Say reverse spirit Reverse spirit fell. Uh, all laughs and jokes coming back in. Whoever has to throw something inside, but Meeks is going to eat that up. Intimidy. That's two, Gordy! Who's the guy that got the Intimidy? Gordy. Gordy. Andrew Feller. Andrew Feller. Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Oh, Gordon Hayward's playing Frisbee now. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. He yeah, just got a lot shorter. What? What really is out? Out, out, double, out, double. Obviously trying to make up for that uh, turnover in the earlier possession with some super layouts. Hard under, hard under. Hard under, hard under, double. Someone, two, three. Yeah. No, no, no. Play, 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 play. Look for him, look for him, look for him. Make it easy, make it easy. Ooh, almost got the D there. I'm gonna focus on cutters. Two, three, four. Perfectly valid stall count, even though the player ran out of bounds. That's the level of competition you want to see in the finals. Grind, grind, grind. All right, we can see Moon Tower resetting the vert stack. And French is pumped up. Find someone in your life that gets ex is excited about what you do as Mike Frisch just got excited for that break end zone score. And with that, Moon Tower is going to go up 10 to 9. All right, we are back in after that timeout. Moon Tower up 10 to 9. Up. Ooh, what a snag in the wind. You ready, Tanner? Walker, Walker. Up. Go around. Go around. Yep, good look. Moon Tower content to give the easy unders. Oh, absorbs the headshot. Little uh, shoulder to the head. No, and then just drops the disc. That's okay. Go play D. Strike. Turfs it, giving Bear a second chance on this O point. <laughs> Last time they just jammed it down the strong side, got all the way to the end zone, turned it over. Let's see what they do this time. They're starting out on the break side, so they have a lot to work with. But they have managed to jam themselves in now, and let's see. <laughs> Pick, but not a pick is the call. Hey, 
Disc is in. Five, six, seven. Dang, beautiful break backhand, and once again, Bear dropping it on the end zone. Second possession in a row, that's gotta hurt. Ooh, trashy over the top. Scoober pays off though. Call it. Go deep. That's the deep shot. Walker. And there is a foul called on the throw. It's going to come back. Walk. Walker. Tommy. Here's that scuber again, second time. Focusing on the cutters, handlers are just swinging it around as expected. Back to deep, back to deep. Ooh, what a sweet bid. And second turnover from Walker on this point, same sideline. Think of Bear, their third opportunity now to run this offense. As long as it's throwing down. Get up. It's far side. This is far side. Danielle, Danielle. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yellow card. Yellow card. Shades of 2016. Are you okay? Let's go, Kim. We gotta keep working, buddy. Yeah, Danielle. 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 <laughs> Just contested sit back. What'd you see? I honestly I have no idea. That's not where I was looking. I was actually looking downfield. I will say that the camera got a great angle of that, so y'all could all look at it later. Post in the comments. I want to see the uh, foul or not. Nah. Post and Reddit. Walker, Walker, get ready, Walker! 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 Walker, you're hot! Oh, a beautiful break back in. Danielle, Danielle! She had one of those in the wild style game. It was just crazy good. Got a score off of it. Walker. Nice walk. Walker. Nice walk. Keep walking, Dark! Out of here. Out of here. Yeah! Oh, back left corner. Back. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, baby. Easy money on the third offensive possession. Just, you know what, guys? Save, save the discussion for the YouTube comments. Save the discussion for the YouTube comments. The most effective place to have this discussion. And uh, it's gonna bring the score 10 to 10. All right, take a quick look at the Bear D-line. Pretty standard D-line they've been running. Score is tied 10-10 at the moment, but Moon Tower kind of up half a break because uh, they're on offense at this point. Not a whole lot of time left until the cap goes off. I imagine something on the order of like 10 to 20 minutes. Probably out the back. And that pull lands perfectly in the back of the end zone. And Bear ran down hard on D. Look at that. Forcing Moon Tower to go way, way, way back. Tom is currently halfway in his end zone. Oof. And they're at risk of throwing it out the back themselves, but they get that going. Yep, Jess was super open deep, but didn't take the cut. Oh, sick. Sick. Buckets. Buckets. Cinder. Cinder. Oh, look at that. Unguardable. Unguardable hammer. Back left corner. Bear get a break from that D-line. Putting them up 11 to 10. And now they are the ones in the commanding position. But let's get some more face time. Where did she go? Oh yeah, she immediately went off to get some water. Let's get some face time for the layout D. Set all of that up. Great work. Alright, take a look at the 
their second D line, or maybe other D line, not entirely sure. Don't want to misspeak. But after getting that break, they uh, sub a bunch of players off. Looking to get themselves a significant lead with another break here. But Moon Tower has in a strong offensive line. Side stack and they pull it all the way to the opposite side of the side stack. That's hilarious. Yeah, in the end that side stack ended up kind of hurting them. Yeah, definitely kind of hurt them and now Bear quick on transition. They're saying chili, but I'm saying yeet. And yep, that spike is definitely warranted. Oh shit, they just hit somebody with an umbrella. That's how hard they're celebrating. And that's going to put them up 12-10. Uh, that's going to give them a pretty significant lead. Moon Tower is going to need to power up right now. Get back in this game. All right, Bear are up 12 to 10 off of the backs of two really good pools. Set up their defense to be in good position. This time though, a little more, a little more standard. Not going to pin them all the way back in their own end zone. Ooh, there's going to be a foul call here. There is no doubt that there was contact. 12-10 is what I have. They are going to contest it, send it back. And I imagine the stall count's going to come in on three or something, who knows. That's not us. I love how everybody echoed not us. There's a, there's a air horn, but it's not our air horn. Oof, Moon, Moon Tower is super trapped. Chris just has to boost it to Corey. Professionally done. An immediate hug in the transition. Weber has the team on his back at the moment. Saving the ball. That's a good play, Weber. I love that after he caught that, he was like, what conservation of greatness. And throws that, brings it back 11 to 12. Super important for Moon Tower. Super important. Ooh, that's super floaty. If anybody on Moon Tower had run down on D, they could have got that. But too bad. A little bit clogged at the moment for... Well, that was definitely not clogged. That was a very well executed undercut. Forcing the around throw, that does work. Tell Bear playing super safe, super conservative. They make one good 10, 15 yard throw and then immediately go back to their handlers for three or four throws. Which is definitely a smart move. You can tell they are playing this like his universe point and incredible T from Moon Tower. Fought through the tight coverage, the arguable pick. Got the D anyways, long arms. I'm gonna focus on cutters for y'all. They're not going anywhere there. Have to swing it all the way across, they do. Continue Danielle. Danielle has an option, but it's the same third of the field and there's a help defender. And in the end, the help defender is what sends that out the back. Not entirely sure it was catchable. With the back of the end zone being there, but. There was a injury called. Surely that was the reason he couldn't get to it in time.
Uh, Bear taking as long as strategically possible to bring the disc up after those injuries. They have a very spaced out horizontal stack. Trying to use all the field. But have to go back to their dump set. First dump covered, have to go second dump. Works out for them. But at this point they're trapped and they only have one dump in the dump space. Yep, that's Moon Tower, team defense. Good team D for Moon Tower. And now they get a very standard end zone set. Let's see what they do here. Trying to ISO, and uh, they do. That's easy. And they're going to tie the game up 12 12. Man, can we go back and talk about Weber saving that last point a little bit? Can we, can we get that back here on the commentary? That's my boy Weber. Team on his back, carrying it as always. Tie the score 12 12. All right, here comes Moon Tower's pool. They have a top notch line out there trying to get this D and score. Woo, yeah. Uh, technically, Bear is in the driver's seat of this game. They are the ones receiving the disc when the game is scored or tied. So. Five? Yeah. Stahl will come in on five after this timeout. Uh, this is the guy with the air horn. We are coming in out of the timeout. You've just heard the horn. Oh no. A sweet layout, but that was a very costly turnover. This is essentially Universe Point, right? Yeah, so this is Universe Point because of the hard cap going off. Get out of the way, Corey! Damn it, Corey. Corey, get out of there! He's giving us his favorite, it's always sunny in Philadelphia attack moves. Alright, we are all repositioned. We are all aware that the hard cap has gone off. Hopefully players on the field are aware that the air horn has gone off. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. It's a very good challenge. Okay. You're crazy? Your side left calling it. Your side left calling it. Yeah, he's kind of a new guy. Yeah, it's true. Well, who's to say? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jake, get ready. So there is a foul call uncontested, which means it's going to come in on the end zone. Line. Do that run all over again. All right, so that's what's going to happen down there. Just to make y'all aware, this is where all the other players are. And goes the super safe throw in the end zone. And Moon Tower off of the backs of some fantastic play, both from the ladies there on the last point and also Weber saving the game. I'm still going back to that. That was the MVP play was Weber in that jump ball where there were like 40 bear players on it. He sits in the back and catches it and then immediately throws the YOLO yeet throw into the end zone to get the score. Um, so yeah, as far as I can come, I'm concerned, that is the MVP of this game. For bear, it's definitely hands down. Who is the player? I think this is her. Wait, hold up. Yeah, her. She had all those layouts, all those saves. She had a layout D that led to them getting a break. Great play from her on that one, but thank you all for watching the second half of this finals game. As always, mash that subscribe button. Thank you all. See you later.